Hey all, Trevor here with Ride of the Leaf, and today I've got a very special strain that we're going to be diving into. It's one that when I first noticed it, I got immediately excited to dive into it. We've got some lemon garlic OG from Robinson. This citrus and tart, rich blend of flavors, if they push through, is going to be one very unique experience and I cannot wait to dive into it. I hope you guys are looking forward to uh, seeing how this strain holds up against the herbage scale as much as I am because that's what we're diving into today. Let's get this one off with some Robinson Lemon Garlic OG. Sit down. Sit down. Welcome back you guys. Like I said in the intro, we're going to dive into some lemon garlic OG from Robinson. But before we go ahead and get into any more information that is on that container or on the website, I'm going to let you guys know exactly what to expect over the next half an hour of this review. The majority of it is going to be talking. We do smoke quite a bit of bud through this as well. So before we get into any of the excitement of actually lighting up some bowls or smoking a joint, we go through and we uh, cover the information that's available for us for the strain so that uh, everyone's kind of on the same level as to what to expect and what really is the possible presentation that the strain has to offer. So first, we dive into the information on the container and then we move over to the licensed producers website is my preferable way to find the information, but if that's not the option, I go on to a Leafly website or the Ontario Cannabis Store, the Alberta Cannabis Store, any of the available um, websites that I know the information is most likely provided via the LP and it's just secondhand information that way. After we go ahead and do those two pieces of information, we get into our full herbage scale. It's consistent or it's not consistent. It's comprised of six different pieces. We've got the look and aroma, which opens it up. We crack the container, we take the look, we smell the bud. Initial impressions are what ends up getting the score out of 10 for this bud from there. Then we bust it up, we roll up the joint that we'll be smoking last before we pack our vaporizer and uh, get in to the initial experience and flavors that this bud has to provide. We go through three different temperatures on this vaporizer that provide three different flavors and really allows the bud to uh, either score quite well or be a little bit more on the disappointing side through that vaporizer. Once we're done that, we match up the same mentality and approach with our bongs as we do with the vaporizer. We light it up three different ways we start out using the hemp wick and we go all the way through to a jet lighter. I go into more detail when we get to both the vaporizer and the bong ribs. After that, I have a Regal Slim Cigar, this beautiful little pipe that we dive into. You guys will get to see it when we get over there, pack that up, and when we smoke and score that before, we finish up the review with a joint and discussion about the high with all six of those components, look and aroma, taste from a vape, taste from a bong, from a pipe joint and the high gives us our overall out of 60 and 48 is what you're looking for to get that beautiful herbage score now with that all being said we can get into the review you guys so <coughs> let's get ready to dive into this you guys lemon garlic og from robinson's is a indica dominant strain it came in with a THC total of 19.6%, a CBD total of 0.07%, or less than 0.07%, you guys. And it has a package date of November 22nd, 2020. Glass jar, as well, gives us but a major advantage for maintaining a overall fresh and just richer aroma when we do crack into this container and get the actual look and aroma going you guys before we bust it up and start smoking but first we've got the robertson cannabis 
Facebook.com page pulled up right below here you guys go and check it out here is the description for their lemon garlic OG a potent indica dominant hybrid with densely stacked frosty lime green buds lemon garlic OG was developed through intensive plant selection and breeding over generations with spicy notes of pine citrus and garlic this distinctive strain contains high THC levels with virtually no T CBD present. The details for the strain are Indica dominant hybrid in the category side. Carefeline, lemonine, linalol, and humililine are going to be the predominant terpenes in this. So that carefeline let us know that we're going to have a more peppery, woody almost experience. That spice that they mentioned earlier. The lemonine is going to give us more of that lemon and citrus experience. Experience. The linalol, that's your lavender. That's your more floral experience. And humiline, that is going to be, again, a little bit more of a green. It's really come off with a green kind of humid experience for me, similar to that maricinine, but it doesn't quite have the acidic and juicy representation that the maricinine does with that mango. The humiline, just a little bit more almost floral s to the uh to the green and humid experience you guys at least for what i've come across on any strains that have said that they're high in the humility now we've got all the information that is provided from robinson that i can see right here so that means we're going to close this off oh actually you guys before we do that i'll give you a little bit of information on this specific lp so it's hand-tended and cultivated in Analepis Valley, Nova Scotia. Premium seeds from Renowned Seed Bank. High-quality cannabis with unparalleled taste, aroma, and appearance. Small batch, precision grown by design, and it's climate-controlled drying and sealed for freshness. That's the information that Robinson gives off on the top of their product webpage. And uh, with that, you guys, that's all the information that we need to get into our herbage scale. We're going to get that intro in here and uh, dive into this three and a half and see how this lemon garlic OG turned out. Let's get into it. I'll see you over there. Okay, guys, let's dive into this three and a half from Robinson's. So let's crack this open. Ooh, the seal does secure right to the top and uh, Two very unique aromas are coming from these buds. You start off with that really light, sweet taste, and I do mean taste. When you keep your nose on the outside of this container, you get that really rich, damp, citrus candy taste in the back on the back of your tongue from it's just smelling this bud. And then you take your nose and you bury it in that container. That sweet, light citrus aroma transitions into a very rich and acidic aroma that's so reminiscent to a garlic aroma, you guys, that I cannot wait to dive into this strain. The buds in and of themselves are very well dried. They're a little bit on the smaller side, but for the fact that you have a really good trim on them, I'm okay with some smaller buds that are really dense and honestly still quite sticky when uh, I'm giving them the squeeze. All in all, this three and a half is quite an impressive, um, quite an impressive production and. Uh, overall experience with the look and aroma that comes off of it you guys and with that i'm gonna give it i'm gonna give it a nine out of a ten and i'm very very enjoy very much surprised and really enjoying the overall experience and aroma that comes off of this bud and the fact that they're little smaller not little well they are little in comparison to some of the buds that are available but the quality is top of the line and very 
very exciting to get into and smoke you guys i can't wait to see how these nugs are gonna bust up they're all relatively the same size with the exception of two so i don't think we really are smoking the lower end of the eighth it's a very consistent quality throughout and that in and of itself is another reason to give it a nine you guys and that aroma it's got such an interesting combination of the two and it combines what has the similarities of that lemon and garlic flavor to really present a uh, a unique and exciting aroma and combination for us to dive into and experience you guys so let's go ahead and do that i've got a joint to roll before we can actually get into the smoking side of this we start our vaporizer at 175 degrees celsius and i'll let you know why when we get there but for the time being cheers y'all Okay, guys, with that joint packed up and uh, enough bud here ready to go for the rest of the review, let's get into the vaporizer. We start out at 175 degrees Celsius. The reason we want to start out there is the base terpenes that do start to boil off because when we're using our vaporizer, we're looking to boil our bud versus actually, not boil our bud, but bake our bud and boil off our terpenes versus actually combusting or burning our bud and having the terpenes activated and uh, put off there. When we bake our bud, you do end up getting the full benefits of the terpenes where when you burn it off, you do actually start to lose some of the um, more medicinal benefits that the terpenes have to offer and you just lean a little bit more onto that getting high experience. But there's nothing wrong with either of it and a combination of the two is the best way to stay medicated, you guys. A little bit of oil, a little bit of edibles, a little bit of everything. They each have something special to offer. But again, different video, different day. Let's get into this review. 175 degrees. We start out there because of the lemonine and marisonine terpenes. The lemonine, you've heard me talk about it a little bit today. That's that lemon-based terpene. And that marisonine is going to be that mango-based terpene. When you get the two together at that 175 degrees, you do end up getting a little bit of lemongrass or a citronella potential as well. Because that marisonine, like I was explaining, similar to the humulene, gives you that kind of humid green experience. It just likes to lean a little bit more to that mango acidic and juicy flavor. Now, after that, we go to 205 degrees Celsius. 205 gives us a lot more of a broad range of terpenes that tend to play. You tend to get a lot more of your richer tasting terpenes. So your chocolates, your cushions, your earths, your um, wood and, and pepper do start to play a factor, but not quite as predominantly as that creamier, chocolatey, cheesy, cushy, earthy experience that are put off there. Sometimes the berries even like to play at that 205 range. And then 220 that's your beta caroline primo temperature you get a very pepper or a very woody experience as well as the heaviest dump of thc on the temperatures that i run with my scale for the vaporizer and that's 220 for that highest level of a boil off i've got it set to 175 degrees right now you guys we're currently just waiting for it to get up there it does not take this vaporizer very long to get to that initial temp. And then from there, it's very quick and easy for every single update. We're already at 150 and climbing, 160, and uh, 175 comes in right now. Now, I give it a second to really let the entire oven heat up and start to uh, boil off the bud, and then we dive in, you guys. 175 initial flavors on this lemon garlic OG, a 9 out of a 10 for the look and aroma, the vaporizer does well i have very good thoughts for the rest of this review but see how the precedent is set with the vape cheers nice citrus experience it does have that more humid initial onset but there's that kind of rich spice that's coming in afterwards, almost like um, a ginger-esque, like ginger style spice. Almost like you, I can almost taste that garlic trying to make a push and that's where I'm getting almost that ginger where it's more. <coughs> so 
the combination of that more rich, earthy tone with the lemon, I get the ginger touch. Now, or sorry, I, I would get a garlic touch. Now you add the beta carefully and that pepper, the little bit that's starting to play in there. And that's what's changing that earthy from more savory garlic to a little bit spicier, which is more ginger experience for me. 175, this is really nice, but it's a very complex flavor, you guys. It's one that I could sit and sip on all day and really enjoy. My mouth is absolutely watering. Like, I have a soaked palate right now with the flavor that I was getting from that 175. 205, hopefully, is just going to be a more intense rendition of this combination of flavors. Now, let's see. I wouldn't say it's a more intense, it's a transitioned flavor. So I don't get that sweet citrus experience. It goes straight into that richer garlic, more garlic flavor. I would say it leans almost more so into kind of a gassy kush undertone for that lemon experience that I'm getting. Like it is so subtle that it's just more of that sharp, lemon flavor that with the combination of that kind of earthy mix gives you almost more of really a gassy touch. 205 is enjoyable. It's not as complex as 175, but it has quite a bit to, um, to earn it some points. Now, if 220 stays consistent, you guys, I'm not going to have any issues giving this an eight. It's, it's been an enjoyable session. I'm hoping the pepper doesn't take over, but if it does, almost goes more to that, that ginger style, that, that traditional spice ginger experience, because that will score well. And that's more so what it did. It definitely went with more of that earth wood crust, and then the slight, slightest, ginger burn in the back of your throat and oh overall very very enjoyable experience you guys the fact that this bud can can easily move from swing from that sweet flavor into a nice settled spice complemented because that's the best way to describe this is a flavor that's complemented with the spice It's bumped its way from an eight to a nine without even thinking about it. You guys, my mouth is watering all the way through. I'm absolutely loving this experience. <coughs> um, I'm going to call it right now, you guys. This lemon garlic OG, I've got a feeling it's going to hit a beautiful herbage just off of these two. I, I'm not... I'm personally not seeing any downside to the strain so far other than it doesn't have like the top of the line flavor that I'm looking for, but that it's got this really unique and enjoyable flavor that there's just certain things about it that aren't, I am absolutely in love with where it's more so I'm really enjoying it. And that's the difference between a nine out of a 10, a 10. I couldn't stop talking about it. A nine. I'm really enjoying it about I'm really enjoying it and I won't be able to stop talking about it tomorrow. That's going to be the difference between that nine out of it and nine and a 10 you guys. And overall that look and aroma and the taste from a vape. Those nines are very well earned. I'm still loving on that flavor. Like I don't want to move over to the box. That's how much I'm enjoying the flavor from the vape. And I don't ever say that you guys. see how it goes with the bongs so as i said in the intro you guys may not remember it but uh we start our bongs with a hemp wick and we work our way to a jet lighter the only thing i didn't mention was the clipper lighter that we used in between and to light our hemp wick so it gets used twice it's it's semi important semi important tool for us it also gets used on the pipe and the joint well so it's a it's a pretty important tool actually 
Now, with um, a little bit of a side note over and done with, let's go ahead, pack up these bowls, and let you guys know um, what rigs are going to be used with what lighting device. So, this beauty right here, this uh, Crave straight tube, or Envy straight tube, sorry, not Crave, but Envy straight tube, it gets the hemp wick. Our nice glass beaker bong, that gets a clipper. And a red-eye tech cyclone, while well, that sucker gets the jet lighter. Each of these methods provides a different temperature of ignition, as well as a different coverage for that kind of red cherry that you get off of the lighter. Hempwick doesn't provide much of that, where the jet lighter, it puts a cherry wherever you point it, and that changes the flavor, that changes the experience, that changes how harsh a bud could be even. So, we've got a lot to dive into, a lot to enjoy. I'm going to sit back today, you guys, and give you a little bit more of a function-based video. I hope you're enjoying this content. We're about halfway through now. Let's power on into the fun part of this review. Cheers. say I found those hoots harsh because they weren't necessarily harsh they were spicy and spicy in the sense of the back of your throat has that ring that pepper ring or even just spicy based food I get that ring and it was okay on the inhale once I started to exhale that ring started to get nice and uh warmed up by the flavor and it just stacked on top of each other and it became a little bit overwhelming cough and then once you start coughing you can't stop coughing for <coughs> at least i find strains that are like that it's the stacked cough because half of it is because you're smoking weed the other half is the spice and one feeds into the other and then that feeds into the other and it just kind of goes back and forth for a little bit. So I tend to cough a little more often that way. Now, I would not say that this was a harsh smoke through the bong. It was a spiced smoke through the bong. I think if I were to get the three and a half again and smoke my way through it, I would start to develop a flavor for it. That kind of a, a variant makes a big difference on how I'm going to score this bud. I'm giving it a six because it's one of those ones that I have a feeling that I could develop a flavor for. But that's not how we score our one-hitter weed reviews because it's the one-hitter, right? We pick it out, we crack the container, and we sit down and we do it in one session. And the scores that we get here are the scores that it has. Six out of ten for right now because the enjoyment of the flavors that I have sitting now and that light spice aroma because right now I just have a very light citrus and kind of earthy medley that's sitting on my tongue but primarily through the rigs it was it was just that kind of heat just that almost kind of like a chili chili pepper heat without the flavor just that that kind of sweet heat to it and then from there it settles down and you start to get a little bit of that citrus and almost garlic but not really and more just earthy in general with that being said you guys six out of ten 
is the score. And the biggest reason for that is just because it... Is that... Uh, with the plus. That lingering flavor is that plus. Now, we go ahead. We're, we'll clean this, clean this cigar out because we don't need to be smoking any other strain than uh, the lemon garlic OG. We'll pack it up. And we'll give it its score after we uh, smoke this quick little bowl. Hopefully, we get a nice potent flavor through here. And uh, this can get right on track again for that beautiful herbage score. Cheers, you guys. Okay, guys. I'm going to give this a 7 with the consideration for an 8. I will tell you that. I have considered giving it an 8, but... It's not developing enough for me to want to bump it up to that enjoy that eight level of enjoyment. The seven's there because the flavor that I'm being presented with is very unique. I'm again left with more of a ginger than a garlic experience on this. Um, I did get hints of that kind of garlic, but the pepper that pepper ring in the back leaves me more ginger experience. Just in my opinion of the two flavors. They're similar, but one goes more earth and savory. One goes more earth and spicy. But that sharpness, both have a combination. And it's honestly a balance between which flavor I like the most. Ginger, personally for me, is a big benefit because of my stomach and gut issues. So I do like to use ginger anytime I want, I, anytime I can, because it's, it's there's some benefit there. So the taste has something I've started to really learn to appreciate and enjoy. With that pipe, it's you get the sour wood from the actual pipe itself, battling off with that really peppered and rich. Like, I wouldn't quite say savory, but I'd say rich, earthy flavor. And when you add that little bit of sour it from the wood, it tends to complement the spicy I'm finding on this strain and really give off that more ginger experience. All in all, a very enjoyable experience, you guys. It's one that you have to think about a little bit. It sits there for a while. About halfway through this explanation, I started to lose that flavor, but it's not a bad timing about five minutes of a, of a really intense flavor and then now you're just left with just a bland slightly sour wood experience with that pipe and it's got to be one of my more enjoyable strains to smoke through that regal and even with that little bit of that pepper burn in the back of the throat it's quite enjoyable you guys now we've got our elements joint rolled up let's go ahead and uh, lightly unpack a little bit of this so that it's easy to get plenty of air movement in. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, dive into this joint, you guys. Cheers. Let's get into it. That's an interesting combination there. I get the sweet, citrus, almost candied lemon. It, it's almost like somebody made a garlic flavored donut, like a super light, um, not necessarily a cake bread donut, but a super light, fluffy, like almost honey cruller kind of airy citrus blend in there and there's just that touch of garlic it's it's unique you guys it's a very unique experience i'm quite excited to dive into it so let's do that and wrap up this review cheers Okay, guys, so taste from the joint. 
it's going to end up getting a 7 out of a 10. Honestly, it's got a quite enjoyable experience for the first half. And as we come into the last third, it really does start to break down and leave you with just a very kind of bland, earthy, peppery, sour cross. It doesn't really lean to one flavor or another. It's not really something I'm a big fan of. Um, there's not like a bunch of oil production, so it's not like you're getting a nice head rushy buzz from the end of the joint like you do get with some other um, strains. So there's some things here that are just enjoyable and overall quite easy to be able to sit down and smoke it again. It's just there's some things I'm looking forward to, to improve on and that that flavor near the end is just a little bit of a disappointment. I would like for either the citrus to hold just a little bit through so that it has some direction or you get that transition into more of that earthy, peppery ring because then it's not kind of just sitting there afloat between three random flavors that you're transitioning through. Which, personally, I'm not a fan of. Some of you, some of you guys may be, but... Me, not quite so much. But with that, you guys, we're going to move on over into the high. And I will score this an 8 out of a 10. Now, after the bong rips, I was 100% thinking about giving this 10s. By the time we get to the joint, I've downgraded it to an 8. And the biggest thing because of the headache kind of rule, unwritten rule that I've mentioned quite a bit. If it comes and causes a headache, I can't give it a 9 or a 10. And I feel that headache coming in. It's right along the back of my ears over just almost like the opposite wrap of my glasses. That exact area on the back of my head. Like if I bend my head back, I feel like pressure building in there. It's that kind of a headache. Which comes from the strains that lean a little bit more to that euphoric side. That beta carefully and that, that likes to play a little bit more on that sometimes paranoid or anxiety buttons that people have for me it's just more of the ability to daydream and kind of drift off in that sense um, but if it comes in and has have the headache effect there's some big disappointment for me because it doesn't really benefit me at all because the headache takes away a little bit of the daydream and drift off experience now moving into the body it's got a nice even body high it doesn't really lock you into your couch it just more eases everything um, i've been having back spasms all day it's not spasming anymore but i can still feel the pain i can still feel the soreness within my back so it's helpful but it's not a reliever it's not a stopper it's not a helper in that sense like for me the bubba strains typically are a pain stopper um the apple toffee from simply bear the last time i smoked at those two or three bowls that was a pain stopper which was quite surprising and i really enjoyed but uh all in all you guys this lemon garlic og did quite well it scored a 46 out of 60 it was two points shy of the beautiful herbage and being honest, those two points are a personal preference based um, difference from the bong with the joint, the pipe. Honestly, it was just kind of a personal preference um, based opinion. So I definitely think those of you guys who are waiting for beautiful herbage, this one is close enough to go ahead and pick up. It is a little bit on the pricier side. I believe it was... Um, forty nine ninety nine for the eighth, but the price would have been down in the bottom of the information page for you guys when I was giving it to you uh, a little bit earlier in the video, and I'll make sure to bump it back in here as well so that you guys can see the price. With that being said, one hundred percent, I would recommend getting this strain for a new or experienced user. The new user definitely take your time, l take a couple of tokes, and let it build up. See how that more mental-based, that euphoria 
based high on the on that mental side hit you because sometimes it's a little overwhelming sometimes you get headaches like me and uh, sometimes a little bit goes a long way for the more experienced toker the this cultivar it's quite impressive and overall a very unique and uh, enjoyable experience i think you guys would uh have fun checking it out and smoking it yourselves definitely let me know down below if you think you are going to go check it out or if you have robinson's also has a gorilla glue number four that is on the market i haven't seen it yet in our store so i'm not 100 percent sure where it is available but uh go and check it out you guys i'm really impressed with this strain and it's the highest scoring strain since we brought in our new scoring system so it's worth a celebration appreciate each and every one of you hopping in and checking out these videos stay tuned tomorrow we got a hell of a long live stream going live with you guys right around uh two or three o'clock in the afternoon and we'll go for as many hours as we can have uh fun and enjoy it and you guys are hopping in and checking it out but with that drop this one up end card's gonna slide in here at this point hover over the logo click that bell button and uh you do that after you subscribe so that you know anytime one of my videos go live. You can also do that when you're throwing in the comments down below or uh, liking this video. Bottom two videos in the end card portion. One's the most recommended for you. The other one's the most recently uploaded. Please click on either of those. Anything else I have to offer under Red Leaf. But uh, she's been a long one tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed. Cheers.